Okay, so I've always been a one-team guy. I don't support you unless you're wearing a Celtics jersey. But if you have to make me pick a second team, gun to my head, I'm not that guy. But if you're making me pick a team, I've always liked the Raptors. They just seem to do everything right and nothing ever works out their way. Great fan base. I mean, you watch Raptors play away games. Their fans are just as loud as the home team sometimes. Um, they've always been loyal to the players that are loyal to them. I mean, don't blab on to me about DeMar DeRozan. That was the team's best trade in franchise history. Kawhi Leonard is the best player in the franchise history. Great city, big arena, but despite all of this, players aren't looking at Toronto during free agency. Players don't want to be traded to, to Toronto during free agency. They don't want their family to move to a slightly new country where you have a new currency. They don't want to go through customs every third game. Now, I get all of this, but... Regardless, that is a fundamental disadvantage that Toronto faced that no other team in the entire league has to deal with. And that gives them an underdog edge. And who doesn't like underdogs? That's why it honestly pains me to say this, but Kawhi Leonard would not be wearing the Toronto Raptors uniform next season. I mean, unless Toronto Raptors can sign a perennial all-star quicker than Kawhi Leonard can get out of there. And it is not a small pond to fish out of this offseason. Signing one or even two of these names is entirely achievable, but... Right now, Kawhi knows what it takes to win a championship, and Kawhi knows that this Toronto Raptors team is its just not a finished product. Okay, and I love me some Peter Skills. Siakam is long, he's young, he's improving, but he's just not the second best player on the championship team. He's just not, he can't be the third either. Not in today's NBA, not with how mobile the league is. I mean, don't even get me started on Kyle Lowry. The truth is, this Raptors team is just a one-man army led by Kawhi Leonard. Okay, Kawhi Leonard put up 243 points against Philadelphia in that series. That's the most since Michael Jordan. You don't think he hasn't been told that yet? Okay, Marcus Sowell is only getting older. Kyle Lowry is only getting older. Serge Ibaka is only getting older. These players will regress. They will not get better through time. Because don't think for a second that Kawhi Leonard would pass up on a team like the Clippers for OG Ananobi and Fred Van Fleet. A team led by a championship coach in Doc Rivers. A team with similar young talent. A team with $36.5 million more to spend on getting Kawhi Leonard the help he deserves. Okay, that means we can see Kawhi Leonard and Klay Thompson. Kawhi Leonard and Kyrie Irving. Hell, Kawhi Leonard and Kevin Durant. He's joined superstars before. It wouldn't be the first time. Okay, these scenarios are much more likely to happen in LA than they are in Toronto. People better start taking this Clippers team more seriously because they are going to be dangerous this offseason. This is a team that didn't go down easy to the Warriors, taking them six games, which was just as much as the Rockets. This is a team that, the, where the players, they stood up to the occasion and during crunch time, something Kawhi Leonard's current teammates have notoriously failed to do at times. Okay, don't believe Kawhi Leonard's saying. 